with uPortal 4, we couldn't possibly pass up the entirely rebooted, redesigned, redone personalization interface for the portal. You can see here that I've got this Customize button here. It allows me to access the new personalization drawer in uPortal 4, which I'm going to show you now. So to kick that off, I'm going to add a new tab. I'm going to call it My Stuff. And then on this tab, I'm going to access this neat, very compelling, very usable, sexy personalization user interface sponsored by BYU, thanks to BYU very much, which allows me to tap into uPortal's very powerful layout management subsystem and, and allows me to uh, personalize things. And the portal has the ability to blend seamlessly administrator-provided content with user content. So let's take a look here, quick tour. The Add Stuff button right here allows me to, uh, you know, grab uh, content in the form of portlets uh, and add that to the tab that I'm working on. Of course, I can, you know, move stuff around by drag and drop uh, as well. That's not entirely new, but it, it's certainly, you know, very nice. You know, so I have this notion of uh, portlets that I can add with the Add Stuff, but new for uPortal 4, thanks to a very compelling contribution from Yale, we have uh, this notion of package stuff as well. I'm going to add the uh, entertainment fragment or tab, which is a package thing. And uh, that gives me a whole new tab, as you can see at the top of the page here, entertainment. And, uh, you know, which is really neat because I get to poke this penguin. Uh, but you can imagine that, you know, there are all kinds of powerful things you can do with this, uh, you know, like creating a sports tab or, or a tab for a specific sports team or, or possibly for library services. You know, the sky's the limit. Anyway, uh, getting back to this personalization drawer, we've looked at add stuff. Very similar to add stuff uh, is this notion of use it. It works just like add stuff, except it's temporary. You know, there might be a portlet I only need to use once. You know, perhaps it allows me to sign up for wireless network access on campus. I probably don't need to do that every day, probably don't need to make that a permanent part of my layout, but I do need to find it, and I do need to uh, be able to use it in the portal. So we have this notion of use stuff or use it, but once you click away from it, it's gone. The next little bit here of the personalization interface, it's called Colors. It allows me to select a skin for the portal, uh, select a skin from among those that the uh, institution has allowed or provided, I guess. So I've just switched to the Cole skin, which, uh, as you can see, it completely transforms the experience visually here. Uh, now, you know, everything is dark and kind of looks like a nightclub, I guess. Um, uPortal supports any number of these, uh, any that you're willing to enable or develop for your user community can be provided here to allow users to uh, tailor, you know, the visual experience uh, based on their own desires. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the uh, uPortal skin. And now I'm going to highlight the last of these, which is layouts. Okay, well, I'm going to add one more uh, portlet. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, daily business cartoon portlet to the My Stuff tab here so that I have two portlets and I can better illustrate this last function, which is layouts. This allows me to choose the number and width of columns on the page. Uh, so let's say I like this two column layout here, uh, but I don't want it to be divided 50-50. I, I want the left column to be wider than the right. Uh, I could use this interface here to do that. I can even go to a three column layout or even a four-column layout if I have really skinny portlets. At any rate, those are the four areas, four categories of personalization accessible from the drawer. But like I mentioned, there's also the ability to add new tabs over here with the Add Tab button, as well as the ability to drag and drop portlets around and you know, place them exactly where you want them to be on the page.